Good morning, everyone. It is Jessica with DIY by Faith. Welcome back to my channel. I have an awesome Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So just make sure that you guys stick around, grab yourself some coffee so that way you can wake up with me. I know that the, by the time that you see this video, it's gonna be a little bit later, but that's okay. And please excuse my little friend here. Does anyone have a curl like this that just pops out of the side of their head? He just doesn't wanna stay put. <laughs> That's so funny. So anyways, I know that um, I have said this on my channel before with me being lactose intolerant, not being able to have a lot of dairy. Um, so I just wanted to highly recommend this. This is the creamer that I use. It's made by Planet Oat. Um, and this one is the oat milk creamer and it's got caramel in it. So if you like caramel, but you're trying to stay away from dairy, it's super, super good. And I don't believe that it has to be like two weeks um, in the fridge like most creamers. So definitely highly recommend that. So if you see me drinking my coffee, mm-hmm. That's because you know I need it this morning. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of days, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so I'm going to have uh, two different hauls that I'll be posting, um, one today and one probably Saturday, because I do have my morning devotional tomorrow to bring to y'all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the Easter stuff that I got, and I am super excited about all the Dollar Tree has for Easter this year. Now, I did pick up, let's see, I guess there's one item in here for Easter that I did pick up from the, um, the Dollar Tree Plus section. So I'm going to leave that one for last. I'm going to stick that one over here so it could be a complete surprise. So the first thing that I found at my Dollar Tree was this really, really cute um, faux wood hanger. Um, it is like the, the particle board. That's what this is. What I love about this is the one side has like the little... Um, the little lines if you could see it so it looks like the grooves of actual wood and it does have like that farmhouse white style this alone would look so cute if you just got a black and white buffalo check okay and you don't even have to have burl up just a black and white buffalo check little bow and stuck it right here on the ear with no eyes no tail no nothing and it would look super cute or you could just do a little cotton tail right here and that's it you don't have to dress this up or you can go and you can paint the entire thing and put a face on it whatever you want to do the sky's the limit but i thought that was so cute and i love that the crafter square in the dollar tree is bringing out these kind of things because we can do whatever we want with them and we don't have to worry what other people have ours are going to be completely different than theirs okay so um, I have a ton of candy that I had gotten for Easter. We have six kids. This is not even all the candy I'm going to need, but I did pick up some. But before I get there, I did want to show this. This is more like in the spring section. This is the Garden Collection Solar Steak Light. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's this beautiful blue butterfly in there and it does have the little solar panel on the top. So when you put this outside and the sun gets into the little solar panel, the butterfly on the inside flies around. So it looks like you have a little butterfly in a jar. And I just thought that was so, so cute. Now, um, obviously this is for the, the daytime it's working. This is not like a light at night. Um, it says it's a light, so I assume maybe it does light up and fly at night too, but I think it flies during the day too. I'm going to have to try that and let you know because I thought that was just so adorable and my son just loved it. Okay, so moving on to the candy and things that I got for that. Now, Dollar Tree is killing it with all the baskets that they got this year. I did not pick up like very many of them just because we have a ton of baskets that we keep every single year, but two that I don't have that I absolutely loved were these. These are so cute. And I know a lot of people like to like monogram or put like their children's names or something on here. I think like a name in a year would look so cute right here. But they had these little gnome bunnies in pink and blue and they do have a handle. Now, I was thinking, though, that these are great for if you have, um, I mean, these could be for your kids as well, but there are friends and stuff that my kids have that we may make baskets for, but these are very flimsy. So whatever you're going to put in here, I wouldn't put a ton. Um, I would think that they wouldn't be able to hold a bunch of weight, um, but that's up to you. I mean, the sky's the limit. You could definitely try, but see, like, even when I hold it, it just kind of like fla flares out, you know, um, but these are so cute, you guys. If you see them, make sure that you pick that up. I think that they're great for um the holiday i think they're just so cute also what i picked up um that goes with baskets and these show these on a wicker basket are called basket buddies um this one is the easter bunny and it's decorate your own easter basket so as you can see on the inside they have these little foam pieces they're like the eyes the mouth these um little uh flowers for the hair the ears the leaves all these things come within this kit you can see on the back right here there's felt stickers and regular stickers in here and you just stick it on your basket so you can make your basket look like easter 
I think that's so cute. And then if you have a little boy who loves sharks, they had this one right here. I'm not sure if they have any other ones. These were the two that were in my store, but I thought these were really cute. And for another little idea for this, if you do not have a wicker Easter basket because they do stick, sorry, my cat's going crazy. They do stick. Um, you can get the flower planters right now. They actually have like a, um, a blue planner that is exactly this color. And it is so cute and it has like these little ripples so it kind of looks like water and i thought that the shark would look really cute on that so just an idea if you do not have um a wicker basket so you could try that out i also picked up some fun candies to go ahead and stick inside of um the baskets now like i said we do have six kids and so what i try to do and th this is a very smart idea if any of you have multiple children always get packages that have multiple candies in it so for instance this one has 12 pieces this is the warheads fruity flavor sour chewy candy filled with ooze that's what this is and they can take these and i mean i can put two in each basket so and they're pretty long so that takes up a lot of space so make sure you pick up stuff like that um and then i also got this uh happy easter chocolate this is for my youngest son he doesn't really like any chewy candy so he's probably going to get this but i thought these were so cute and it is um let's see so there's probably about 12 or 13 pieces in here if you look at the serving size and i just thought that was adorable and then I picked up these eggs and I thought these are made by Palmer. So this is a name brand and they're the peanut butter eggs and they're very pretty and they're very intricate on, you can see like on there that there's a picture. I know it's hard to see on the camera, but it's little bunnies, um, a decorative egg. Of course my cat's going crazy. She's playing with my dog ignore her they're both the same picture the regular chocolate one has the same thing i'm not sure if you can see it but there's little bunnies on it but there is a uh, a regular milk chocolate and a white chocolate peanut butter filled egg and these are pretty big they're pretty heavy so these are three ounces by themselves so if you see that check it out another thing that i picked up that had multiple in it were these carrots right here um i don't know the brand it's made by amos uh, but it's powder candy. So I actually love the idea that it's in a plastic carrot because if you guys have ever tried the um, little pixie sticks with the powder candy and you're trying to put it in your mouth, I'm that person that always somehow touches the end of the pixie stick with my tongue and it gets wet and then it like doesn't work and I just get so aggravated. <laughs> and I don't know if my kids would be the same way. They've never really had pixie sticks, but this instead would be a great idea. I may even have to try it. Okay, I also picked up this jelly bean cotton candy. This is a pretty big uh, jar. This is the same size that they sell like in Sam's or Costco around the holidays where they sell like, I think, I believe it's like four or five of them. Um, I'm trying to see if it has like a, I don't even see the weight. Anyway. It's a lot though. I mean, this this is a really nice container. They could also reuse it, um, but they had different colors. They had green, white, yellow. I mean, all the Easter colors, you know, but this looks so good. So I picked up one of each of those for my kids. And then I saw these cute little M&M um, egg things. So they say happy Easter on them. Um, and I don't know, let's see, it says about two and about, 30. So you're looking at over a hundred a little M&Ms inside here. Now this is not M&M brand, but they do taste exactly the same. So really cute. And again, they have those in multiple colors. So then I went over, they also had like the little box candies that you can get like trolleys and stuff like that. And I found these adorable Sour Bright Gummy Bunnies by Trolley or Trolley. I don't know. How is it pronounced? But look how cute this is. Now, these are Sour Bunnies. And I know that this may be a little bit pricier than what they are in the store because you a lot of times you get them 10 for 10 at a lot of the local grocery stores. But I haven't seen this in my store, all the Easter ones. <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I'm still trying to get used to my voice coming back with my allergies and then I found these creamy egg-shaped mints in dark chocolate they are junior mints eggs <clears throat> of course I'm getting towards the end of the video my voice is going to be like messing up I also got um Tootsie Roll now owns this company um so Easter Dots and they have all the original colors that are in there, but they're Easter. And then I picked up the Whopper Bunny Tails. Look how cute those are. I love them. Whoppers are my husband's favorite. And then I picked up 
these chocolatey covered marshmallow bunnies. I did pick up two packs of this. So I could put two in each one of my kids baskets. And then I picked up two of these cause there's three in each pack and I do have six kids, but I did want to show you that there is a color difference. So in this one over here, you got green, blue, and purple. And on this side, you have blue, pink, and purple. Um, so that way, if you have boys or girls, you know, um, I have three boys and three girls, so this should be interesting. We'll make it work, but they're really, really excited about this Easter, you guys. Um, that's all I picked up from the regular Dollar Tree section, but the thing that I picked up in the Dollar Tree Plus section, and I love it, I've never seen one of these. If you've seen one of these in your stores before, please let me know um, down in the comments, but this is a uh, cookie Easter cottage kit look how cute this is and it says that it comes with the pre-baked sugar cookie panels so they're sugar cookie so i don't think this is going to be like as hard as um you know like around christmas when you get the gingerbread ones and they're like impossible to eat afterwards but my kids still try to break their teeth on it <laughs> it also has character cutouts on the bottom of the box it comes with the candy and with the icing um in yellow and white so I thought that was a great deal. This was $5, but you can't beat it. And then of course on the back, it does show you the direction so you can build it, but it's no baking needed. And the kit has everything that's required to make it. Now, obviously if you like other candy and stuff like that, that you can add to it, always buy some more at the Dollar Tree. They have a ton out right now. This is nowhere near what they had. I have to go back, but I was on a budget, you guys, that happens. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna film the next video after that. So make sure to catch me on that one. I'm hitting stuff, so just ignore that. I need a little bit more coffee before the next video, but I will see you. And as always, have a great day. Love y'all. Bye.